everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Dark Souls 2. Plays is maybe a little bit of an exaggeration. Northern Lion dies in Dark Souls 2. Northern Lion talks a big game and then totally, like, fucks up Dark Souls 2. That's been pretty indicative of my experience so far. That being said, we're gonna try to uh, do a little bit better this time. We're in Central Gutter, I think. Uh, Central Gutter is not very long, typically. Oh, that was very close. Um, yeah, it, it's typically not so difficult. Mostly my problem with the gutter is just finding my way around. This ladder ends way before I want it to end. Um, yeah, you know, in the, in the actual gutter, my problem is actually being like, Hey, where the heck do I go? Oh, I'm dead. I fell off. I did, you know, I can't make that jump. Uh, but we should really be in, um, Black Gulch in like a couple of moments here. Unfortunately, uh... Those enemies do have darkness imbued on their weapon, which I think is what is causing me to end up taking damage even when I had my shield completely up, unless I accidentally had a torch out, but things are pretty dark here, so I don't think that was indeed the case. And again, apologies for it being... Oh, hello. Uh, apologies for it being super dark right now, but that's the kind of thing that will get sorted out in just a couple of seconds here. Again, having black firebombs makes this area a little bit easier to uh, conceive of getting through without losing all of your equipment and rings rolling through the acid. We could also use, for example, ooh, can I fit through there? No. Well, I guess we're gonna see. Um, I could use a bow. Do I have? I didn't get a bow. Okay. Well, I can use like a hexing urn or some throwing knives, which actually used all my, my urns from earlier, but good throwing knife here. Should make it possible. There we go. And that means I can fit through there. Now, do we have any life gems? I have one life gem. I'm gonna pop that. Little risky, um, because we don't have any more, but I'm gonna take damage falling down here, so... Uh, oh, no, we're not, actually. Disregard everything I've ever said about anything. Meanwhile, a hundred people say in unison, Northern Lion, we already do. Okay, so I was totally pretty close to actually making it to the Rodden on the last episode. We're a minute or two in here, and um, if you want to talk about short distances between bonfires in Dark Souls 2, you really have to talk about the Black Gulch, and it's a little bit of a good thing. Unlike the bonfires in Huntsman's Copes, the second bonfire in Black Gulch is really, really nice to, to have, because it's uh, otherwise really freaking annoying have to run this entire gauntlet of poison things just to get to the rodden every single time especially if you end up dying many many times against the rodden which hopefully I won't but we will see I, I've you know been uh, screwed before so literally uh, no not literally figuratively I suppose uh, we're gonna come through here and light this bonfire up and what was that like 30 seconds and presumably we should be able to rest if we were not able to rest that would have been the end of us basically right there so we're gonna fight the rotten I think I am going to apply like a uh, charcoal pine resin I'm gonna put it on my quick bar just so we can use it a little bit more prudently um, not that this is a super difficult boss fight that being said it's a, a boss fight that is a little annoying so if I can get through it on the first try here, I would love to do so. Now, we shouldn't get poisoned here. Should not get poisoned, but that's okay, we can use moss. So I did take a little bit of damage there. That was stupid of me, I should have tried to attack that a little bit earlier, but cool, put charcoal pine resin on ASAP, and we'll switch to our lightning spear, just so we can get off a quick shot or two before the rotten is actually able to do anything. Now, if you wanna watch a man struggle against the rotten, you can do that. Oh, by take by putting charcoal pine resin on, and then immediately taking uh, my chime out, I uh, unfortunately screwed myself out of having charcoal pine resin. So I'm a big dummy, as always. You know, I usually say do as I say, not as I do. This time, don't even do as I say. That was dumb of me. And that being said, the drawing leg shield is uh, really nice, unless you just get one hit by him. All right, that was a pretty poor start to this. This should be a lot easier than I made it out to be there. He's not even that difficult, but if you want to see a, a person struggle against the Rodden, you can go back and watch my first series. Wasn't a blind playthrough, I'd beaten the Rodden before, but he was a real pain in the dick, if you ask me. And do we, we have other resin, but it's not very good resin. Like, I don't think poison works against the Rodden. Maybe it does, but it doesn't really matter that much. So just be cool here. Try not to fuck your durability so much. Get, get in here. And, okay, we're almost... In a bad position again, just be cool. Maybe with one of these throwing knives. 
Oh, that's not even going to be close. So we'll just wait a second here, because I definitely don't want to get poisoned before going into this boss fight. Oh, uh, yeah, the Rodden shouldn't be too bad. But looks can be deceiving sometimes. And we'll roll through that shot, and we should be good to go. All right. So I should have had my chime out earlier. We may not be able to go. Oh, yeah, I botched that. Something fierce, didn't I? And let's try not to get full comboed, like, just at the start. Or one shot. You know, full combo, one shot. Either way, pretty bad. I fought the Rodden so many times by now that you would think that I would be the master of killing him. And in the stream that we did on Thursday, which in all honesty, is seeming to prove to be a much better Dark Souls 2 playthrough than what I'm doing right here, um, I did kill him on the first try. And that was wonderful. And it felt very nice. And, and everyone seemed to be impressed with my skills of the game for the first time in my entire life. But now, I'm mad because I'm bad. And we managed to get out of the way of that one. You know, Lightning Spear is not the most effective compared... Or, did I say confective there? That is not what I meant. Not the most effective compared uh, to some of the other uh, boss fights that we can uh, use Lightning Spears on. That being said, we might as well use them because we can use them from a distance. And uh, we won't be in uh, major risk. Okay, just wanted to make sure that we... Uh, didn't roll into the whoop. Uh, didn't roll into the the coals there because obviously that'd be bad. Not a bookstore. Coles used to be a bookstore in Canada. I should probably explain that joke because it was really bad. All right, so I'm just gonna get the hell out of the way. He's gonna start to have uh, powers that are imbued with dark, and that's gonna be bad for business. Um, but whoa, ah, that was really dumb of me. Be cool. I never get caught by that, so I was actually a little concerned about what was happening there. Okay, we need to S this up ASAP. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Good to go. Let's hope that this guy doesn't do that attack and kill me instantly. All right, so I'm having a really good time here against the Rodden, as you can probably tell. This is what I meant when I said that uh, it's probably best if we go, like, you know, fight the... Um the mid bosses first. We still do have another like midpoint boss to fight in Prowling Magus, and uh, I thought there was one more. Isn't there? Oh, and Scorpionus, uh, Scorpionus Nagia, whatever her name is. Um, but we'll just put the amber herbs on our big bar for now, and I will use a human effigy. There's nothing I can really do but apologize for the fact that I'm playing kind of poorly. Uh, rest assured, I'm gonna rest up here. By the way, uh, rest assured, I'm not doing it on purpose. And I think I've given up hope of uh, beating my, my time in Dark Souls 2 of like six and a half hours. Not that this is, again, a super competitive speedrun or anything like that. Anyway, I'm just saying, you know. Now, don't get hit by these. This is the most tedious part of this whole endeavor. Good, okay, that went way better. Let me just sneak by you. Even if you hit me, not a problem. Okay. So we got Lightning Spears, and the reason I took out the Amber Herbs is because we can get actually 16 Lightning Spears if we handle this uh, properly now. Will we handle it properly? Let's be honest, the smart money is probably on no. Oh my god, what the, the camera there? Holy shit, did you see that? Um, that was pretty wild. I've heard a lot of complaints about the camera in Dark Souls 2. That's the first time I've ever had anything like that happen to me. Luckily, it only cost us an Estus and not our entire lives, which it could have. I think it was just like, it was like lock on, don't lock on, lock on, don't lock on. Just be cool here. All right, that was that was not very good. Should be able to escape quickly though. Just Estus up quickly. Okay, so we got one Estus left and we've taken off like 20% of this dude's health. So it's not great for us right now. Usually I, I go melee only on this guy. Which is maybe what it... Maybe I'm getting too fancy. You think I'm getting too fancy? Maybe I'm getting too fancy. Let's just stay in the moment here. You know, we'll be real Buddhist with this fight. Make sure we dodge appropriately. Make sure, and this is real important, that we uh, dodge in the opposite direction of the attack. We'll probably sneak one in there and still have a roll. Like that. Um, the problem is if we get caught, we gotta get far away. And quickly. So it's not a quick fight here. Oh, luckily he only did the two-hit combo there, otherwise I would have been down. Another Estus guaranteed. And... Oh, make sure
make sure to get out of the way of that one every time. So he's going to be down past half now. And we really have to watch out for that dark attack. If I shield, I actually end up being much better off. But still have to use an Estus there. So we might uh, just run away. And now start spamming some lightning spears. Because I'd rather be far away from him. We'll like bait out an attack. Like that one. Which actually hurt me a great deal. Um, and then run away and cast lightning spear. Don't do it! Pretty scary stuff, sis. Now, uh, if we die again... We'll just stick with the, the plan that I originally had, which was, um... Oh, is he gonna do... That's super good. Um, if we die again, we'll just stick to the plan that I originally had, which is, you know, um... Fight the late game bosses later. But I really thought... I would have a pretty good shot at taking this Ding Dong out, so... Uh, I might have been a little short-sighted in that. I mean, what do we need on this run? Like, what do I not have? Why am I not doing as well as maybe I did on the stream? I didn't pump any points into Vitality. I think that is maybe hurting me a great deal. Not that Vitality is the be-all, end-all in a caster class, but... It is always nice to, you know, be able to, uh, take a single hit. Now it's always a little scary there. Still a few lightning spears away from victory. That would have killed me instantly. No question about it. We need one more lightning spear. And this actually should... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I could Amber Herb. I think instead, I'm just going to run. That was probably super lucky of me. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> I realize that, you know, not many people are paying attention to the series to watch me die a few times. That being said, uh, I'm glad that we have defeated the Rodden, so we don't have to come down in this area ever again. I forget what we get in here. It might be an Estus Flash Shard. If so, that'll take us up to four, which is nice. Let's see, though. Uh, Sublime Bone Dust. It's two sides of the same coin, at least. And I don't believe there's an enemy in here. So we can rest up. Head to Majula, level up Vitality and Endurance a little bit. We will pump more uh, into Faith, but we don't really need to pump more into Faith until we can get Great Lightning Spear. And Great Lightning Spear is easiest to get after Undead Crypt, which is still, you know, long way in the future. Let's put it that way. So, what do you got to say to me this time, Emerald Herald? Take your sweet-ass time. You Bearer, seek, large, powerful. Anyway, um, we're bump up. Vitality, bump up endurance. There we go. I think that was a good use of our souls. Gonna be a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher now. Okay. Next direction to go is now that we have a fragrant branch of yore. Oh, we should rest to the bonfire. Otherwise, we would be the world's biggest idiots. We still haven't upgraded anything at the blacksmith. To be honest with you, I know that this is like the third or fourth episode I've recorded in a day. Um, there's gonna be comments, and the comments are gonna be like, you need to upgrade your shit. That's why you died twice against the rod. No, I'm just. I fucked up my dodges and, and didn't handle those fights very well. The Drong Leg Sword, and I'm telling you from experience here, is totally capable of beating the game without being upgraded once. Yes, I mean, sure, you can beat the game with a fucking wooden spoon, right? And, and never upgrade it once. But it's comfortably capable of beating the game without upgrading it. Uh, way more comfortable than any other weapon I think I've ever used uh, in in the Souls series. Like, if you compare it to something like the Drake Sword in Dark Souls 1, starts uh, out... Really good, tapers off pretty nastily by the uh, late game. Drang Lake Sword is still pretty powerful, even uh, the further you go. What do you got for me here? Life Gem and a Homeward Bone. This part of the game is a little annoying. Typically, you use a fragrant branch of yours. She falls down and she's like, oh, here's a small, smooth, and shiny stone for your trouble. And you're like, are you fucking serious? Now, you got a lot of these Lance Armstrong monsters to worry about here we can oh cast it that's the worst we're dead alrighty then hopefully that door stays open when I come back uh, considering I have a, a weapon that you know does an arc attack I probably should have just swung it rather than trying to use a lightning spear that would do like very little damage these Lance Armstrong monsters the first time I played through I was like oh these guys are not bad at all and then um, the more I play the more I find myself getting killed by them when I played for the first time, who was the most annoying enemy? Explosive, you know, petrified zombie pieces of garbage. Uh, these are maybe up there for me now. Especially the ones that throw rocks at you. It should be so easy. They throw a rock at you and you're like, well, 
I'll just shield out of the way of that. But nine out of ten times, I get hit in the face by that fucking rock. And I'm always like, fell for it again. Lost another loan to Ditech. Anyway. Uh, oh, she stands outside of this area now. I actually did not know that. I wonder if this guy has different dialogue now. Let's talk. Um, eh, maybe not. We'll be able to talk to him later, though. All right, so let's take things more slowly. Hear thee, hear thee, want to see thee more clearly, etc., etc. There we go, and a little bit of that. And we can basically do the same thing here. Come on down. You're the next contestant on Get Fucked by me. Good camera work. Much appreciated. Good, yeah, we did a spinning back fist into the door there. I'm not going to appreciate that too much. Lloyd's Talisman, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Now, is there a ladder or something I can take up? So that I can actually fight those dudes up there? Or do I just seriously have to wait for them to come down? Probably just have to wait for them to come down. I don't die in this area very much. It's the, it's the area just past this. Just past this, where I end up running into trouble more often. Now, just be cool. There's only three of these dudes and then a, a basilisk afterwards. Which is not so bad. Basilisks uh, less outwardly terrifying than they were in Dark Souls 1. And you can just run past them. Not just the Basilisk, but the uh, enemy as well. And this door up here is going to open and we can just sprint through that and we'll be fine. There's an item down here. forget what it is, but there is an item. And it would probably be in my best interest to get it, but I'm going to run past it. Because that's what I do, apparently. Now. I did rest at the Iron Keep, right? I didn't just leave after that Mytha fight. Now I'm starting to doubt myself. I'm like, did I actually see that bridge? I hope I did, otherwise I got a long walk ahead of me. If I did do that, then I'm a big idiot. That's okay, that was a couple videos ago now. Fading soul, okay. Some extra souls, basically, for us. And I'm not worried at all about using lightning spear here. Because this is where we encounter those fucking rock throwers, who are the greatest, apparently, like, projectile-wielding enemies of all time. Got a rapier. Seriously? Like, look at that! Oh! Not gonna hit me today, motherfucker. Actually, you're totally gonna hit me today, motherfucker. Like, look at the power behind that. Is it a, I don't know if it's a rock or a dung pie, but they really bring the pain with them. Okay, that was a dumb attack. I don't even need to use a lightning spear for that one. I should just run up and melee, but it's okay. What's done is done, and what's dumb is dumb, and they are dumb, but so am I. Pharos Lockstone, we haven't used any of those. I guess I, this is my 0% uh, Pharos Lockstone playthrough. As if that's a challenge. Look at the freaking rock almost got me, man. Fuck Havel the Rock Johnson. We've got Havel the Rock Rock now. Ah, good. Pierced him right in his abnormally large scrotum. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I had a Hydro Seal once myself. You didn't need to know that. You should totally look that up on, uh, on Google Image Search, though. And you're going to think I'm joking. Not joking. You can ask Josh, he makes fun of me about it all the time. I had one very large testicle. And it took them forever to diagnose, because they're like, well, he's got like a 25 inch dick. Like, doesn't it just, it's just proportional, isn't it? And I was like, no, I know I'm only 16, but I'm pretty smart and I'm pretty sure there's something wrong here. And then they made me an honorary doctor. And I was like, I'd like to be a doctor, but I'm already like putting up triple doubles every night in the NBA, so I don't know. It was a weird time in my life. All things considered, I guess it was okay though. So, from this area, we should be able to kill the next boss super duper easily. We come through here. It's the Shaded Forest. Shaded Forest is, uh, annoying, but you're, uh, the amount of annoyance is directly proportional to whether or not you want items. If you want items, this area is real annoying. I just stop here because Vengarl's here. I like to hang out, get my bearings back a little bit. Hey! Um, if you don't want items, you pretty much just hug the left wall and uh, typically you can get out of here without getting backstabbed. Sometimes your mileage may vary, but we should, yeah, there we go. That beam of light is the universal signal for uh, the foggy forest is over. So we'll come up here and there will be a bonfire just up these steps and then we'll immediately have another boss fight. And if you're disappointed by the fact that I'm not exploring this area, Dare I say again, and I know that people always put this in the comments, and I'm not trying to censor you in the comments, but they're like, why even play the game if you're just going to run through it? This is how I like playing the game, I'm sorry. Uh, it, and again, every single time, if you want to watch somebody play the game is more comprehensive, 
Go watch Epic Name Bro or Nick. I love those guys. This is not me being like, yeah, well, if you want a chicken sandwich, don't cut a McDonald's, go to Chick fil A. I mean, maybe it is kind of me, like, me saying that, but I'm not saying it to be spiteful. I'm seriously saying it to be like, you know, if that's the kind of content you enjoy, here's some outlets for you. Because I would rather have you, you know, enjoy yourself, respect me for telling you a good alternative to my own videos, and not clutter up the comments with, like, why don't you play the game the way I play the game? And that's okay. I understand the frustration. But also, I kind of don't. But that's okay, too. We're going to fight the, the Scorpion this year. And someone in the stream on Thursday gave me a very good piece of advice, which is whenever she does the thing where she goes underground, stand on the concrete, because on the concrete... Oh, that didn't do any damage. Bullshit. On the concrete, uh, she can't actually rise out of that and hurt you. So that's a very important piece of advice. Um, this is a good time for me to Estus. Very, I handled that very poorly. Let's just be honest about that. And I thought she was going to do a second attack there. As far as like um, this boss is concerned, we should really attack her in the in the tail when she does that. But as far as this boss is concerned, um, this is one of the bosses where like s just circling works real fucking well. Uh, if we can just kind of keep moving around here and. Uh, do, I mean, that still took all our stamina, so that wasn't that effective. We're, we're hoping, yeah, for that attack, basically, and then we can come in here and attack the tails, and that works a lot better. Uh, no stamina left, which was stupid of me, but at least we can get one more attack in there. Could use our lightning spears. We'll do that if she decides to get further away for one reason or another. We don't want to stay too far away, because then she does the magic attack herself. So if, I've been told if we stand on the concrete here, or the bricks, that she actually can't pop up through it. I don't know if it'll actually hurt her. Ah, it did seem to work quite nicely, actually. Thank you very much, whoever that was in the stream that told me that. Probably multiple people. Thank you nonetheless, multiple people. Keep doing your part to make the world a better place. And, okay. Um, probably should take the next available opportunity to Estes. That is um, pretty much right now. Come on, tree. Greatest tree 2014. We're going to use our last Estus. And yeah, that was scary, but we're, we're through it now. Oh, I love when they do that attack. That is a super easy... Seriously? I hit the freaking tails there. It just wasn't the tip of the tail. Now, come on. We can do this. Be smart. Stamina up. Get on the concrete. While you're on the concrete here, maybe take a second. You have a life gem. Oh, you do have a life gem. In fact, it might be the best interest to just put those on our quick bar here. Rarely do you get a chance to do that in the midst of a boss fight in Dark Souls. One or two. We actually cut off one of the tail aspects there. That rarely happens. You don't get a weapon for cutting off both of the tails. That's one of the most commonly asked questions that I've uh, seen. I wish that you did, but you don't. There is an item up there you can get if you trick her into breaking that uh, tree. So be it, though. So, Scorpion has died pretty quickly. Uh, again, not the greatest boss fight I've ever done in my entire life, but at least we didn't die for once, right? <laughs> it's like the first boss we didn't die against since uh, Skeleton Lords, maybe? Uh, uh, we died trying to get to Mytha. I guess we didn't die against Mytha. Still. I wonder if we can kill uh, this Sentinel with lightning spears. Uh, before it gets to me, please. Hurry. A little scary. Just makes it easier to get to the bonfire this way. And we get a pretty decent payout from it as well. So, yes, one of these chests is a mimic. Every time I play it, someone goes, hey, Northern Lion, go up to that chest. And I'm like, it, it's weird to me because for like the three years I played Dark Souls 2, I attacked every chest. Even though I knew where the mimics were, I was like, just in case I forget, I want to know where the mimics are. And, um... I, uh, I would attack every chest and people would be like, you don't need to attack every chest, don't be silly. And now they're like, hey, you're probably not going to remember there's a mimic there, right? I have a, a mimic GPS, you know, geocaching? I do geo-mimicking. I know exactly where the freaking mimic is. Disregard everything else. Getting the, uh, the hammer is a pretty nice drop there. Uh, it's a 40 strength weapon. Might even be a 50 strength weapon now that I think about it, but I think it's a 40 strength weapon. And it's kind of, it's cool looking at least. It's like a big old anvil basically. 
I have never used it reliably because I find that the the great club is substantially better if you're trying a strength build, but it, it's a cool looking weapon. So if you're looking for some like stylish PvP stuff, maybe you can do that. And I'm thinking that in the course of this episode, might be feasible for us to uh, for us to fight uh, prowling mages. We'll see. Prowling mages pretty easy. Big miss. Should be able to shield this. Yeah. Puts a big ol' axe in our shield, but that's okay. Does, th does this guy ever attack again, or does he just throw again? Usually I see him throw twice. And we get the Gurm Great Axe, maybe because he was unable to uh, throw it in time. Okay, barely got it there, but we should get it. Some Twinkling Titanite. Uh, large Titanite and Raw Stone, that's okay. It's the second guy that we've just found here kind of polishing his weapons. I wonder if there's a story behind these guys beyond... Um, Maybe they just need the fire or something. I don't know. Large Titanite shard? Sure, by all means. Come through here and uh, this guy has a shield, but I've found, at least in my experience, that typically that shield is just for show. And if we actually hit him with the Great Lightning Spear, it does as much damage as you would expect. And it did. Yeah, we. I think we stand a pretty good chance of being able to fight Prowling Mages in this episode, which will put us... You know, one bonfire away, basically, from being at uh, all of the great bosses, which we'll then tackle in relative order, I think. Uh, probably start with the Lost Sinner, because I expect that that will be the easiest one for me. After we go for the Lost Sinner... Who do we have? Duke Steer Freya. Which is, it, that was originally what I thought was the most annoying boss out of all four, but I disagree with that now. With the AI summon, it's, it's relatively easy, I think. Um, who else? What, I always forget one of them. Oh, Old Iron King. I actually think Old Iron King is, is pretty easy as well. As long as you uh, don't fall into the pit of fire, Old Iron King might actually be the easiest of all the Great Souls bosses, in my opinion. Maybe Lost Sinner's a little bit easier, so I guess Duke's Dear Freya actually is the most difficult one. Duke's Dear Freya or the Rodden. I feel weird saying that every time, because the Rodden is basically just your standard, like, you know, sword and board type uh, boss. He doesn't even have a board, he just has a sword. That being said, oh, okay, be cool here. It's I. This is one of the few areas in the game where I've tested lion strats and non-lion strats, and I genuinely believe. Oh my fuck! I genuinely believe that lion strats are bad against those guys because you can try to come through here and open this door, but this door takes forever to open. So it's actually better to take these guys out one by one. I think we can always amber herb and get more spell cast in a second. In fact, we can take out two of these guys and then Amber Herb and we'll have nine. Uh, which is fine. I don't think we're gonna need... Ooh, thank God we got him there. Man, more HP than I anticipated. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll need nine uh, of our Lightning Spears to take out... Uh, oh, we have ten, actually. I didn't think we'd need ten to take out the Prowling Mages. Usually you take out Prowling Mages with the Lightning Spears as soon as possible and then... Um, Maybe use them to take out the Congregation, although the Congregation typically has some lightning resist, so... Your mileage may vary. There's another boss that a lot of people consider among the easiest in Dark Souls 2. I kinda disagree! I, I mean, I guess I don't disagree that it is among the easiest. That being said, I can find a way to die against any boss. If you just name a boss, I will tell you how to die against it. And I've died against uh, Prowling Mages probably more times than I'm uh, happy to admit. We'll close this door just so no spiders see what we're up to, and then... Um, here we go. So taking out the mages first is, is pretty smart, I think. And... Oh. It's bad on my part because I could have dodged those lightning spears. But didn't. This one will kill him. Oh, the congregation got in front of it. Just to be like, no thank you, sir. And did that... Oh my god, you did heal the mages. I actually did not know uh, that when they did that, that would heal the mages as well. Uh, Mag... Is it probably Magus? I don't know. I don't think it is. That strikes me as a, a silly name. And we'll take out our sword, and we'll just two-hand the shit out of it. Thereby allowing us to do quite a lot of damage. And this is basically over. This is a, it's a pinwheel-esque fight, I'll admit. But, because it's crowd control, uh, things can go wrong. I've had things go wrong in this fight, let's put it that way. This one, I, I'm making it look relatively easy, unless I get hit in the face, and that would have killed me, but we're fine. We can just, you know, use our remaining lightning spears. Try not to get hit again. Just sends the wrong message. And one more hit against the congregation. Uh, there are people that will tell me 
that this fight is easier than Pinwheel. I very much disagree. Oh my god. And I very much disagree because Pinwheel, you can just two-hand your weapon, go up and smack the shit out of him. Yes, he summons mirror images, but you can just smack him. It doesn't really matter. Um, whereas Congregation is super annoying. Now, there is a... Um, oh, I've never seen this pot back here. I wonder if that contains something of value. Nope, just a, just a pot. There's a, an NPC up here. He sells miracles, but the miracles are kind of shitty. Things like a Heavenly Frenzy or something. Basically like an untargetable, but a little bit more heavy damage uh, Lightning Spear. It's okay if we have more attunement slots, but we really only need the one attunement slot for now for Lightning Spear. And we'll get Great Lightning Spear and eventually uh, Sunlight Blade later in the game. But for now, we'll just rest here and that'll do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.